friends came from stamping imperfection thank you so much for joining me i am playing with some new card inserts today and uh in order to show you those i'm going to make a card i'm using my hedgehog hollow subscription box for april it's got some fabulous pattern paper and i'm i selected one of the pieces i cut it down to four by five and a quarter i pulled out some coordinating blue cardstock from my stash this is getting cut at four and one eighth by five and three eighths and then i have a, a green piece that coordinates i'll cut down to four and a quarter by 11. i'll score and fold that at five and a half and that will give me my card base to start with this is this was actually a really fun subscription kit i thought it had uh, two different stencils one was a layering stencil it had two different stamp sets and um, it also had the card inserts and that's a new a fairly new product that uh, maker forte has started to carry and i love i've for a while i've really been enjoying their simple sayings which are pre-printed sentiments and they are foilable if you want to foil them you don't have to foil them and they're pretty great to just be, it's great to be able to just pull out some pre-printed sentiments and um, trim them down and plunk them on your card now they've come out with card inserts they come out with new ones every month and you can actually get a subscription service to the simple sayings and to the card inserts and this is kind of nice like i'm using colored cardstock here and if i want to write a message on the inside it would be really nice um, to be able to do that but i would have to put a piece of white cardstock and the card inserts are white cardstock with a sentiment already on them so that's pretty fun so the theme of this particular kit was um you know all about hippie it was very retro 1969 and um i thought it was just such a fun kit but uh you know you could use anything here and and use the inserts the inserts on this set that i'm using today coordinate with the whole hippie theme which is pretty fun um, you can find a masculine set at maker forte i'll put the links to that below into some of their sim simple sentiments and the simple sentiments die set that comes that you can purchase separately and um, it's pretty nice it's a you know a pretty nice little subscription to have so i picked one of the stamped images i love gnomes and i really liked this little peace sign with the sentiment give peace a chance so i'm just stamping this with my uh, color hive eclipse black ink from maker forte and um, i definitely need to re-ink my ink pad i can tell because it ordinarily only takes me one stamping to um get a nice image and that took me three and i'm still going to go over those letters with my black marker just to make them darker so i'm going to start out here by coloring in this little gnome and he's just very sweet so i want to use colors that coordinate with my um, pattern paper so i pulled out a bright pink i think this is rv17 and i have rv14 and rv13 there as well so i'm just going to use two of the colors i'm just flicking some of the darker from the center of the flower out and um, then i'll take the lighter one and just fill in the rest like i'm not going to um, do any elaborate coloring here i just want to get some shading and keep it simple i like to keep my coloring simple so i'll just use colors that i feel like coordinate really well with this particular paper that i picked and it's so easy to create a card when you have um, pattern paper that you can use as your background and then there is an image you can stamp or stamp in color if you want to and uh, cut out and add to the front of your card it just makes it so quick to create a card so i'm adding for my blues here i used b29 b26 b24 and b21 and i'm just going to do the pants and the um shirt that way and i'll just use you know 
different combinations of these four markers for the shirts and the pants. And again, keeping it really simple. I always start with my darker marker because that's how I was taught. So that's the way I'm comfortable doing it. Um, a lot of people will color the whole thing in with their lighter marker and then um, go to dark and then from the dark to the light. I just start with the dark and fill in. And you can see it's like pretty quick and easy to do. I'm not going for perfection either when I color. I don't like it's, I feel like if I'm trying to make things perfect, it's just stressful. It's not relaxing and fun, it's stressful. So I pulled out E13, E11, and E30, I believe was the other one for the skin tone. Um, I actually find lighter skin tones harder to do, so I try to do those more often lately because um, I'm practicing them more. And the gnome, gnomes are always nice because basically you have the gnome, the gnome nose and the hands and it's quick to color the skin. So like no pressure there. So that's good. So I'm just using my W's here, like W8, W6, W4. And I think I pulled out W2 and W0 when I got to the beard, but I'm making the shoes dark and um, I'll use the lighter W's on the beard. I just want it to look like a hint of gray. And um, you probably could leave that beard just like it is if you wanted to. I just like to flick some color into the beard and um, I'll just, you know, use a few of those markers and try not to cover up all the white in the beard. It's always one of my goals, leave some white space showing through when I'm doing hair and beards. So I'll just flick those in. And I am going to, when I, there's no coordinating dyes for these kits, so I will actually fussy cut this out with my brother scan and cut. And um, I feel like the brother scan and cut has saved me so much money not buying dyes the past couple years that it's more than paid for itself. So I, I've really been enjoying having that. The only thing I ever use it for is scanning my images and cutting them out. I haven't even um, started to learn how to actually cut all the, you know, beautiful things you can cut out. That will be next on my list. I think that will be one of my summer goals. And then I can really get my money's worth out of that brother scan and cut. So I'm, I decided I wanted to do that hat in the green. So I'm pulling out one of my favorite combinations. This is G19, G16, G14. And usually I use G12, but I could not locate that marker. So I pulled out G20 for my lightest one. And I'm gonna do the hat from there. I actually have two little garden gnomes I have in my garden at home and um, one of them reminds me of my grandfather on my mother's side and the other one reminds me of my grandfather on my father's side. So I love the sweet little gnomes. Um, so I think they're really fun. I know some people hate them, but I think they're adorable. I've loved gnomes forever. So I'm just going from dark to light here, filling in, and I'm trying to leave some light space. I tend to have a heavy hand on the darker colors, and I often fail to leave myself the uh, enough room to actually give myself a highlight. So I pulled out um, E35 and E32 or 30, what was it? Um, I think it was E32 and I just stippled some dots on that piece of soil there below him and finished it off like that and then I'm just going to use one of the greens I'm going to pull out an orange which is like YR07 and I'll pull out that B29 and just give that piece sign some color and uh Actually, I use the RV17, I think. And uh, I'm just gonna use that light green to kind of blend the um, between the colors, but those colors aren't really meant to blend together. 
And then I'm going to take out my black marker and go over all of the letters here. Once I got the image all colored in, I pulled out one of my circle punches and punched out that sentiment. And then I threw that gnome onto my brother's scan and cut to cut that out. And I always leave a little border around the edge. Whenever I cut something out with my brother's scan and cut, I like that little white border around the edge. I feel like it looks a little neater. And now I can just add that to my card base along with my sentiment, which I cut out using my one and three quarter inch circle punch, by the way. And um, I have started using my punches a lot more lately than I used to use them all the time. Every time I made a card, I would pull out punches. And then, of course, you get the dies. The dies became more of a thing than the punches. They were actually dies were cheaper than punches. Now dies are pretty expensive. So um, I use less dies now, more punches and my scan and cut. Um, so I put some foam on the back of those. I love that white foam that they sell in the shop. Like, I think it's actually pretty fabulous. It's so much nicer and more flexible than the older foams I was using. So I have to say in the last year, I feel like adhesives have been revolutionized by making the foam uh, lighter and more flexible. So I just popped that up and that's going to complete the front of my card. Now I can play with the inside. I love the way that came out. It's adorable. Somebody is really going to love that when I send that to them. And um, so I'm, I'm really happy with that. I just think it's cute. So now the inside of my card, I'm going to pull out one of these inserts and these came in the kit. They have masculine inserts in the shop at Maker Forte, which I will link to. And I'll link to the simple sayings and the die set that goes with the simple sayings. The simple sayings are now being made in a uniform way. Um, and you can see that some of these inserts are for vertical card layouts, some are for horizontal card layouts. They always do a good job with that. So I'm just using my um, giant tape runner here, my scrapbook adhesive tape runner. I love that thing. I've had it for a few months now and I quite like it. I've had to change the inside thing um, once in the last few months and um, it was pretty easy to change. So I pulled out the lava lamp stamp here. When I was a kid in the 70s, my Uncle Kev was a hippie and he actually bought my grandmother one Christmas a lava lamp. So I always found it fascinating. And when I started teaching physics, I made sure I got a lava lamp because there's a lot of physics in that little lamp. He also bought her a fiber optics light in the shape of a tree. It was beautiful. And um, also made sure I bought some fiber optics goodies for my physics classroom as well when I was teaching physics. So uh, lots of good stuff, lots of good science to learn there. So I have to include this. And the lava lamp that he bought my grandmother, I believe was either orange or red. So of course I added some orange lava and I added a little bit of light blue. This is B00. I'm just putting it along the edges of the glass and then I'll pull out B four zeros to just flick some um, bits toward the center. So that looks like glass and fluid. And then I'll just make this lava um, I'll pull out that orange. I pulled out YR07 and YR04 and I think YR02 um, just to add a little bit of interest to those. And that's going to complete the inside of my card. I have lots of room to write a message there and that's a really fun little um, decoration for the inside. So I'll put links to some things below and I would love it if you give this video a thumbs up and um, subscribe to the channel. If you aren't subscribed, make sure you click that bell to get notifications every time I upload a new video. And thank you so much for watching, friends. I hope you found those card inserts interesting. So thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day.